Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the Windows Update Error 0x80244022 on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to use the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select Settings, afterwards click on System on the left pane, and then on the right side scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now click on other troubleshooters and the last thing you have to do in here is click on the run button next to Windows Update. Windows will now try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Then you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution, as simple as it may sound, is to restart your computer. So press the Windows button, click on the power icon and select the restart option. After restarting, just check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to restart the Windows Update Service. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Services and afterwards click on it as an app in the search results. Now in here, scroll way down until you find the Windows Update Service, double click on it and then make sure that the startup type is set to automatic. Afterwards, just click on the stop button if the service status is set to running and then once again click on start to restart the service and click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to use an SFC and DISM scan. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, simply copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but make sure to press on enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose your patience. Afterwards, restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to verify the date and the time. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type date and time and then click on date and time settings. Now in here, make sure to simply toggle to on the set the time zone automatically and this will make sure that everything will run smoothly. Now you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.